Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with something a little bit different for you. I am going to finally make a Makeup Monday video for you. And I went back and forth if I wanted to do all Dollar Tree products or if I wanna do my favorite things that I have been wearing. I think there may be one item in here that's from the Dollar Tree, but all the rest of it is either from Walmart or Ulta all extremely reasonably priced. I will have everything linked below. I think you can even touch the screen now. A little thing will pop up and it's gonna show up all the things that I'm gonna try for you. One of the things I did notice though, when I have been trying to link products, sometimes the actual shade won't show. So you'll actually have to click the link and then go to that product and find it there but I will let you know the shades of everything that I'm gonna show you today. And I'll even link my sweatshirt, it's from Walmart. And if you're interested, I still have on my jammy bottoms. I love flannel, guys. Yep, I'm a grandma. And I had found these flannel pajamas at Walmart on the, on the app. Everything I'm gonna show you, I bought online, but I'm sure you can find it in store too, except these. I don't think they have these in store. These are real flannel pajamas. I love them so much. I ended up getting two pair. I may as well just show you while I have it up. But this is this sweatshirt is from Walmart. I think I showed it already in a video. Simple, easy, basic sweatshirt. It kind of, it's kind of like high, low, a little slit here. But these flannel jammies are so warm and so comfy. And this is the top that goes with it. It has pockets down here on the bottom, trimmed out in red with little like pinky red flowers on it. But I love it. It's real flannel, heavy duty. I am always cold. And when I found these, I was so happy I got two different sets of them. But I did change my shirt so I don't get makeup on it because me and hubby are gonna be heading out here in a little while to get, get lunch. So. That's why I figured I'd go ahead and make a video for you now. So we're gonna go ahead and start, have my little Dollar Tree clips here, get the hair out of my face for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. My face is already cleaned and prepped and all of that fun stuff. One of the things that I have been using and loving now for, for a while, and this little pot lasts, for, lasts forever. You can see I've been using it a long time now, and a little goes a very long way. And I love this stuff. It is Pixie by Petra, and it is called their Correction Concentrate. It's in the Brightening Peach, and it, it's like a concealer. And I use this under, under my eyes, mostly right in the tear trough line, Anywhere that it's dark, I don't go overboard where I put anything. It, it seems like the older I'm getting, less is better. So I use just a little tiny pointed brush. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. I think all of my brushes are from the Dollar Tree. I have my makeup mirror sitting here. I'm gonna pull it closer to me, guys, so sorry if you're gonna see it down there in the corner a bit. Oh, let me turn the light on here. Wow, that brightened me up. And I just put it, directly in the tear trough lightly. You only need a little tiny bit. Anywhere it's kind of dark. Mark, I guess that's a vein. Wow, I never noticed that before. I have a real dark vein right here. But I put it right in the tear trough and then I kind of let it warm up for a second and then come back in and use my finger and tap it in. And guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just showing you the products and letting you know what I think of them. I have no idea about makeup. I do it my way. And you guys do it your way, whatever works best for you. But this, this stuff works amazingly well and it covers anything that you would need to cover. If you have, like my nose is really red right now, you can tell it's getting close to allergy season for me. The leaves on the trees are starting to come out here and I'm starting the whole sniffing and getting kind of congested. But this will cover 
blemishes. It'll cover sunspots. A little goes a long way. And then I'll put it anywhere that I'm just kind of red. But I'm not going to go overboard with my makeup today, guys, because we're not doing anything fancy. We're just going to go grab a bite to eat somewhere. But I just go ahead. I let it, let it sit. By the time I do the one eye, this eye will be ready to go. And I just touch up anywhere that I'm kind of red. And then I just come in and kind of just lightly tap it in to, to the um, skin under my eyes, gently. Always be gentle on the skin under your eyes, guys. Be, be gentle to your skin everywhere. But the skin on your face is always a lot more delicate than it is anywhere else on your body. And then I may have to come back in here later and touch up again if I'm seeing, seeing that I didn't get enough But I just go ahead, I just pat it in lightly with my finger. And that's really all I do. It's a very peachy color, so it it just conceals nicely. And I'm telling you, this little pot, I think this may be the most expensive thing that I'm showing you today. And honestly, I can't remember how much it was because I've had this for so long. But this little pot has been lasting me forever because you only need a little tiny, tiny bit. And then, or maybe this is the most expensive. I have been playing with this now. This is a sample bottle, but I am gonna order the full size. This is the Tarte shaped, Shape Tape, but this one is in the Ultra Creamy. It's supposed to be kind of non-drying, and that's what I need right now. And this is in the shade 22B Light Beige. I'll go ahead and swatch this for you so you can see. This just works so well for me. And it does seem like it's not really drying. It's not cracking. It just kind of blends in nicely. It does look very light, but that's okay. It's going to blend in, I promise. And I just put a little tiny bit again just where I need it. And I always put a little right here at the, the corner of my eye. It just kind of makes my eye look like it's more uplifted. And then I do the same thing with that. I let it kind of settle in for a minute and then I come back in and just lightly, lightly tap it under my eyes. Sometimes I don't even use this. I'll just go directly, directly under my eyes with my um, actual foundation. But these are the things that I've been using now for, oh boy, I don't, couldn't even tell you how long, probably, probably two or three months. So almost every video you're seeing, it, it's these exact products in it. And I do put a little bit on my upper eyelid too as I'm going, whatever's just left on my finger. Because I usually don't use an eyeshadow primer. I just, I use either my foundation or or um, my concealer. But I am really liking this, this sharp, this um, Tarte Shape Tape. It's a little bit pricey, but it's, it's worth it, I think. But we're all different, guys. But that's really about all I do under my, under my eyes. I, I just don't go overboard. And I'm sure you guys that are watching me, you can probably tell by my videos, I keep it basic. And then the foundation that I'm using is good old CoverGirl. I have gone back to CoverGirl for right now. I have been using and loving, did I bring it with me? The um, Laura Geller. I have two shades of it because at first I bought the Fair. And for right now, it's just like a shade too dark for me. So I went back and I got the porcelain and I kind of mixed them together I use kind of the lighter porcelain in the center of my face and then the fair around sort of the edges, kind of, to, I guess, to contour. I'm liking this stuff a whole lot. But I needed just, I don't know, I wanted to try a different foundation. I tried the CoverGirl and I'm liking it, so that's what I've been wearing. I'm going to kind of open these here so you can see the difference of the Laura Gellers. 
the shades. They're kind of a marbled, they're a baked. I'll link them below. And again, the lighter one is porcelain and the, the darker one is fair. Here, once I'm out in the sun more, the fair is going to be perfect. And it does seem to me like the porcelain one does have a little bit more radiance to it than the fair, but I'm really liking it a lot. But for right now, I've been using the CoverGirl. And it is CoverGirl Plus Olay Advanced Radiance. And this is in the shade 110 Classic Ivory. I'm very fair right now because it, you know, it's winter time in Pennsylvania. And I had to go down a shade. I had bought a little bottle a while back and I think I showed it. I think this may be different though. This is the Simply Ageless. And I got it in the... 120 creamy natural which is my perfect shade for the summer but right now it's a bit too dark so that's just going to set aside and i'll use it later i'm going to go ahead and just put a couple pumps of this on the back of my hand again this is the covergirl olay advanced radiance in the classic ivory and then i'm just going to use my finger and and put it on with my finger fingers I'm really liking this. It goes on easily, and I don't put it under my eyes. I go right up to it, and then I might come in and tap it in lightly, but at first, no. But I'm liking this. It goes on well. It covers well. I'd say it's um, like a medium to, to full coverage. but you can come in and build it up, definitely. I can't wait to get out in the sun and get some color. I had a friend pop up on my nose here. So I'm gonna try to cover that as I'm going. But I just go ahead and just rub that in. I've been a cover girl girl. It looks extremely light right now, I think, for you guys because of my lights, but it's really not. But I've been a cover girl girl my entire life. My very first foundation as a teen was cover girl. And I just go back to it again and again. And then I just come back in and touch where where I see a little bit you know, of, of discoloration coming through. But this is definitely, this is a tried and true, works great. And I, I believe it's like $5 is all it costs on the Walmart, online anyway. I don't know what it is in the stores, guys. My eyes water, always water for me, like banging on my face. It my eyes start to water. I figured that out, that it's not the products, it's me. And then what I do with this foundation is I come in then with a, let me get my makeup wipe here. I just come in with a brush and just lightly pat it in. I have a brush over here. I just, and it just kind of like blurs it out a little bit. I just, just pat. I can tell I'll need a little bit more, a little bit more um, pixie under, under that eye, but I'll do that later. May as well get a tissue here because my eyes are watering, guys. And it's not the products. It is, it's just for me, just pounding on my face. And again, that was the CoverGirl Plus Olay Advanced Radiance in Classic Ivory. I believe the number is 110. Did I say 110? Yes, 110. But they have all different you know, shades to choose from for whatever your skin tone, tone is. All right, and then what I do is I come in with my blush, and I have been loving Essence products lately. I've been wearing this one now for months and months. And, oh, the lid broke off of it. 
and it is barely baking, making a dent because it's just so pigmented. Another Dollar Tree brush. But I do come in and I do pound it off on the back of my hand because it's pigmented. And then I just put a little bit of, little bit of blush. I'm just, I don't do the whole highlighter and contour and all of that. I just don't. It, I'm past all that. And I just put on some blush and we all have our own ways of doing makeup, guys. I'll have people comment saying that you should be doing it this way. You should be doing it that way. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. You know, some people put on their foundation first, then do the concealer under their eyes. You know, some do their eyeshadow completely first, then come in with their foundation. Do what works best for you. But I'm telling you, this blush, and I have several different shades of it, it's nice. It's just, you don't need a lot. It's reasonably priced. I, I think it's like under $5. It may even be under $4 for this. And I'm telling you, this has lasted me a long time. And I have a long time to go left on it. And I'm really liking the Essence, the whole Essence line. All right, after I do my blush, what I do is I do my, my eyeshadow. And one of the things, it's another Essence product, guys. I love this so much. The writing is gone on it. And I'm gonna show you the inside. The inside, I am down to pan on th four of them. This one here, this one here, this one here. This one is almost completely gone. This is their eyeshadow palette in the shade name Tope It Up. I love this. I love everything about this. It just works well for me. I love the, the shadows of it, the, the pigment of it. But I have been mixing it with the e.l.f. This is the Bite Size eyeshadow palette. It's a little four, four color. And this is in the shade Rose Water. I love this too. These are so nice. Just they're small, easy to travel with. Only It's only a couple dollars, maybe three dollars, four dollars. I love it. I love these shades. They just, they're perfect. They just are awesome shades. It's probably hard for you to see that one, but it is there. And they have mattes and and um, shimmer in here. So it just works amazingly well. And they, they blend nicely with that Taupe It Up palette. So what I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to see if I can get any of this lighter shade out of this Taupe It Up one. Both of these are highly pigmented. But I'm going to see if I can get out this one of right here is the lightest shade. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the shade ranges on the back here. But I'm going to use that on my brow bone. If I can get any more out of it, I have it in my Alta cart right now. I need to go ahead and get some more. I just kind of put it right under my brow bone just to give it some definition and kind of come down toward my nose, and then I put it right in the corner of my eye. There is a tiny bit of fallout on this, but I don't mind. It comes off easily. And me trying to dig it out of this, the pan, it's that's not helping either. Just put a little bit under my brow bone. And then come down to the corner of my eye. I think I need a little more. I didn't dig as hard that time as I did the first time. I don't know what it is about the Essence stuff. I really like it. It, It's reasonably priced and it does an amazing job. And I just, I love their color, color combinations that they use. All right, so again, that was, that's the Taupe It Up. You can't even read it on there anymore. And I have, several of their several of their eyeshadow palettes. This one is in Nothing Compares to Nude. And those are those ones, like browns and cream colors. 
And then this one is the, I can't read it either. Oh, I like to mauve it, mauve it. These are more purples. Beautiful, beautiful shades. I just, I love it. I love the Essence line. And no, they don't know I exist, guys. And this video is not sponsored. I bought all these products myself because people will ask. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this e.l.f. palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here in my crease. I don't think these have the actual shade names of of the colors at all. But I just go ahead and put it in my crease from your lid up here, up, from the crease up. I don't put it on my movable lid. It looks really light in here, but when you put it on, it is a little bit darker, at least on my skin tone. But I put it from my crease up toward my brow bone. Don't go too heavy, at least I don't. And I kind of pull it toward my nose, just a little. And I do not go overboard when I'm putting it on my brush either. Very, very light-handed. You do not need a lot. It's, it is pigmented. And these shades, guys, the everything that I'm using, it lasts me all day. And then sometimes I come in and put a little bit of a darker shade right on the outer, outer third, just to go ahead and give it more definition. Do I want to do that today? All right, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the Taupe It Up palette, and I'm going to use this middle middle, kind of a mid-tone gray, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put it right kind of on the outer third of your upper lid and blend it and blend it and blend it and blend it. And then I'm not even gonna go back into the pan. I'm just gonna use what's on my brush for the other side. I always try doing that first. That way I don't go overboard with eyeshadow and just blend and blend. And I know I say this in every video, guys. I kind of pretend that there's a line between the corner of my eye up to the tail of my, my eyebrow. I don't come down past that because when I do, it makes my eyes look like they're drooping down more than they are. So I try to keep everything up Hope that makes sense. I think that's about good. I think I have it blended good enough. I may need a little bit more just right over here that didn't have enough. All right, then what I'm gonna do is Use my finger to blend it in better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use this really lightest shade of the e.l.f. And again, this is the Rose Water Bite Size Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my movable lid. And sometimes I mix it. This one is a shimmer and this pink one is a shimmer. And then sometimes I mix them together. And I just go ahead and put that on my movable lid. Can you see that? Maybe I'll try putting some of the darker pink on too and see how it how it goes. I think the lighter pink just kind of kind of takes it over. So that's good on that. Where is my makeup rag? And then I take kind of a flat brush. Where did my flat brush go? I take a kind of flatter brush. It's probably hard for you to see that and use that under my eye. And I don't use liquid eyeliner at all anymore. My hands are just too shaky, I can't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in, let's see, let's use the, the um, rose water again. And we're gonna try this shade right here 
this matte mauvey pinky color under my eye. I'm going to see if this is um, dark enough just to give it a little bit of shadow under my eye. And I don't go the whole way. I keep it a third of the way to maybe a half of the way with the shade. That's it. Because it seems like when I go the whole way, it just makes my eyes look smaller. I don't use eyeliner on my waterline. It's just, it makes my eyes look smaller than they are. And just kind of, kind of buff that in a little bit. I'm not sure if this is dark enough, but we're going to go with it for right now. I can always come back in and, and add a little bit from the Taupe It Up palette. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyeliner. And I use a little tiny angled brush. And I keep a, a little damp napkin. And then I'm going to use the um, Taupe It Up palette again. I'm going to use this middle gray I think this one has more of a shimmer to it. Or maybe I'll use this one. Oh my goodness, I just did that right on my sweatshirt, guys. Do you see what I did? I have to clean that up. Maybe I'll use that one. I'll use the darker one. I just lightly dampen the little brush and then I use the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow as eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and try that and see how that works. This one does have a slight shimmer to it, so I've never used this one as a liner before. And then I just bring the brush as close to my eyelashes as I can. For me, I actually have to balance my, um, my arm on something or my hands shake horribly. And I do come the whole way across lightly. I don't, I don't make a thick line, I try to just Get it as close to my natural lashes as I can. And that, that's about all I do for eyeliner, guys. Sometimes I'll thicken it out, widen it out on the outer, outer edge. Just it kind of gives the illusion of your eye being lifted as well. At least it does for me. Like I say, guys, I'm not, I am not a makeup artist. There's plenty of them out there. If you want to watch a, a makeup artist video, this is just kind of a what do I think of these products and get ready with me. Nope. Need to dampen it again. Go back in and pick up some more eyeshadow. I do notice a lot of the um, makeup artists do this same technique, though. They've they're just dampening a little brush and using eyeshadow instead of using a liquid liner. And that's really about all I do for my eyeliner, guys. And sometimes one side is wider than the other and it happens. That's about it for the eyeliner. And again, I use this dark, darkest shade in this Essence Taupe It Up. Love this palette. I need to just go ahead and get myself one. And so what am I waiting for? So more or less, my eyes are done other than mascara. So when after I'm done putting on my eyeshadow, I do my brows. It's just what I do. Right now I am using, it is the CoverGirl, again, CoverGirl. This is the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Brown. I can't find this exact eyeliner anymore, but I found something very comparable. Same shade, so I will link it below. But it has like the twist top up here and then the spoolie on the end. I've been using this eyeliner, not this particular one, but this style eyeliner now for years, and I love it. And it's the perfect eyebrow shade for me. So I actually dropped it on the floor here not too long ago and broke the actual like liner crayon part. <clears throat> so it's stuck in there. And then what I do is I come under this front part, the closest to my nose. I make a little tiny line, kind of a jagged line, just to sort of fill that in. And then I just do little light, little flicks up just to kind of fill in lightly 
where it's a little sparse, but I do not go overboard. I don't like that whole caterpillar look, but can you see the difference? Just those few little strokes made. I hope you can see that. And then go ahead and do the same thing on this side. A very choppy line. This eyebrow is totally different than the other one, so I do have to work a little bit harder on this side, just kind of filling in where it's more sparse. But just kind of flick up, see if they're, they even look anything like each other. But this honey brown, it just works very nice with my hair, with my skin tone. I just, I like it a lot. So I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to come in with the little spoolie and just kind of, kind of brush it through. Just get it sort of, you know, blend it in better. And if you have any harsh lines or whatever, get them out. See if they're semi-even. Looks good enough for me. And again, this was the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Brown. And like I said, I cannot find this one anymore. So I'm going to have to order a different one myself. I will link it below. That Honey Brown shade is amazing. And then this is something that I do get from the Dollar Tree. You guys have heard me rave about this a million times. It is the Wet n Wild, the Mega Clear. You can use this either as a mascara or a brow gel. I use it as a brow gel. I love this stuff. And Dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. It goes on well. It's not goopy. It dries nicely, and it doesn't. It doesn't feel like a hard plastic shield on your eyebrows. It's very sort of flexible. I love this stuff, and I just come in lightly and just sort of brush my eyebrows just where I want them, right into place. Lightly, just all you have to do is lightly, because you don't want to push too hard and then take off all the, you know, the brow pencil that you put on. And that's it. So this I won't be able to link unless I can find it on Ulta or Walmart, but I get it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. The Wet n Wild Mega Clear. And it's always just hanging on a clip strip in a packaging at the Dollar Tree. Love it. And I all that's one of the things I always have a backup of. Then what I do is I come in and I use my little torture device, curl my lashes. I curl them every single time. My eyes will stop watering here shortly since I've stopped banging on my face. I curl my lashes. I should have said at the beginning, guys, that, you know, grab some coffee or some tea or iced tea, whatever, because this is going to be a long one. Every time I do a Makeup Monday, it it takes longer than I think. When I'm doing it just for me on the daily, which I don't wear makeup daily, you know, it takes me 10 minutes, but making a video, it, it takes longer. Well, that's my little curling eyelash curler. The mascara that I have been using now for probably a month and a half is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Love this. This is a little bit on the pricier side. I think this is about $14, but I love it a whole lot. It's been working great for me, and it's very different. It has a, um, the brush is flat on one side, and it's almost like combs on each side of the brush. It's hard for me to show you, but you can sort of comb through your eyelashes, and I like that, and it just does the job. I I think it's great. This one, I've been using this for so long now, I need to get a new one. I can tell it's starting to dry out, but I'm telling you, I've had this now for, I'd say at least six weeks, eight weeks, and I've been using it constantly. And it's just finally starting to you know, just not be like brand new anymore. I just, I like this a whole lot. And then I'll come in with the little comb side and just kind of comb through. And then I put just a little bit, little tiny bit on the bottoms. I don't go overboard on my bottom lashes. And then sometimes I'll put a second coat on and sometimes I won't. 
but it does build nicely. Like I can get a, a second coat very easily. Let me try to get, I got a little bit of clumpy right there, but that's my fault, guys. My hands are shaky, so it this can be sort of difficult for me. I don't like a big, thick bottom lash. My hands are not cooperating with me today, guys. I know one of you had said about if my hands are shaking, get my B12 checked. I am going to do that whenever I don't have a my regular doctor's appointment, my yearly, you know, till later in the year. But I am going to go ahead and have him check that for me. And then I do the other eye. And I just touched my upper eyelid every time I do it. If you do that, don't try to wipe it off right away. Let it completely dry and then use a little cotton swab Q-tip and it'll come right off without smearing. But that's about it for my eyes. I really like this mascara. It was like viral probably a year or so ago. And for a long time, I couldn't even find it. And then when I finally did and tried it, I see why it went viral. It's a very nice mascara. But I, if you guys know of any other really nice ones out there, please let me know. I'm always willing to try something new. I'm gonna have to try to get this off before I go somewhere. If not, I'm gonna have to change my shirt, guys. I think it's going to come off okay. All right, after I completely do my eyes, then I go ahead and I powder a little bit. And another Essence product that I'm loving. This is a little Dollar Tree little powder puff pad. This is the Essence Brighten Up. It's kind of a, a really pale yellow, like I think they call it like a banana powder. Yes, banana powder. Essence, couple dollars is all it costs. And you can see, I love it so much, I'm down to the pan on this. Now, what I do, did I bring in a brush? I have a, a little real fluffy brush, here it is. I use a little fluffier brush, and that's what I use under my eyes, just kind of to set under my eyes. And I just kind of pat it. I got some kind of gloppies there on my mascara. I lightly pat it under my eyes. I don't go overboard. Just to kind of set the, the concealer. I'm really liking this powder. It doesn't like make my under eyes dry looking. But I just use a little brush like that to lightly do it under my eyes. And then if I know there's more in here, I'll use it somewhere else. And then what I do is I take my little tiny puff underneath where I put my blush. I kind of make a line just to kind of contour, I guess. I will brush this out, guys. Don't worry. And then I'll go ahead and either use the little puffy again or I use a, um, a brush and just come in. This brush is a little bit too firm. And I just lightly, lightly, not a lot of powder on my brush, lightly touch anywhere that gets a little bit um shiny, oily. And I'm not going back into the pan. I'm just using what is on my brush. But this stuff works just, it's, I love it. And then I come in again with the brush and just kind of pat it, take it all off, not all off, but just kind of tone it down a bit. All right, and then I guess we're on to lips. And I have been loving the NYX, which I absolutely love this stuff. I have three different shades here. I've been wearing a lot the Angel Food Cake. We're gonna try, let me swatch them here. 
I want something a little bit lighter. This one is the tiramisu. I think this one, it looks lighter in the thing, but I think it's kind of darker. No, it's not. That might work. And then this one is in the shade, what is this one? Vanilla Cream Pie. I think this is the lightest one that I have. I really like this NYX Butter Gloss. It's very creamy. Let's try that one. And they all smell so good. And then the Angel Food Cake. You can tell I love this stuff. For me to pick up three of something in different shades, you know I absolutely love it. Yeah, that one's a little bit dark. I think I'm gonna try this lightest pink one and then maybe I can go ahead and mix them if, if I don't like it. I'm gonna pull my sleeve up so I don't get that on there. This one I wear a lot in the summer. My lips are naturally dark. I mean, you guys saw right before I did that how dark my lips are. So going lighter is really hard for me. It's because you can see the natural lip color come through no matter what. Like a lot of you will say, you know, use a natural or use a lighter color on your lips. It's hard for me, guys, because my lips are so naturally dark. But I'm not one to line my lips and do all that fussy. I just, no. What do you think? A little bit too light, maybe? But if I don't like it here before we leave to head out, I will go ahead and mix it with one of the darker shades. This one is much more of like a mauve -y. This one's more berry. This is the angel food cake, banana cream pie, and what was the first one I said? Tiramisu. Is it called banana cream pie? Why does that not sound right? Vanilla cream pie. I really like these and they smell amazing and they're not goopy and sticky. I think that looks okay. It looks a lot more purple because of the color of my natural lips. But in person, it's looking much more pink. So, all right, guys, that is it for this haul. I got something on me there. Oh, I need to get that mascara off that I touched myself. Where did I put? I always bring in Q-tips because I just know myself and I know I'm gonna end up getting mascara somewhere. I take a clean Q-tip, cotton swab, and I just go ahead then and rub wherever I touched with the mascara, it comes right off. But wait till it's dry and then you don't make a mess. It doesn't smear, nothing. So all right, everybody, I think I got everything. I think that's gonna be my sort of easy peasy look here just to go and grab something to eat with hubby. I need to get this eyeshadow now out of the sleeve of my shirt. Can't believe you allowed me to do that. Put on my earrings and then I'll have to go and grab a pair of pants and change out from my jammy bottoms. But I will link everything, guys. And like I said, I've been saying the names of everything as I've been going. If I can't find the direct link with that name, if you click on it, go to it, the shade will probably be listed under it. But just how everything is set up to link things, sometimes the exact shade might, may not be there. But everything was very reasonably priced. I'm telling you, this Essence line is amazing. For me to actually wear this one out, you know it's good. Just so many wonderful things. And like I said, I think everything here is from Walmart or Ulta. Other than, than this is from Dollar Tree and my brushes, but I didn't really show you any of those. So, all right, everybody, that is it for this Makeup Monday. I'm gonna try to have another one for you here sometime in the near future with all Dollar Tree stuff, but you know how that goes. Life gets busy and then it's hard to do it. All right, everybody, I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe and I'll talk to you again here really soon. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.